Klopp, Guardiola, Zidane. The best coaches in the world do whatever it takes to win football games, even if it includes something that shouldn't help at all. Klopp and the Liverpool sign. Back before he joined Liverpool in 2015, Klopp did something he might have really regretted. Oh yes, indeed, absolutely, um, 100%. He touched the this is Anfield sign. So what's the big deal? Well, his team, Borussia Dortmund, got ran off the pitch that day. That's how it is. So when Klopp joined Liverpool, he banned the team from touching the sign until they won a trophy. So now they can touch the sign. But after that 2-7 loss to Aston Villa, maybe they'll go back to the old ways. <laughs> That's not Klopp's only superstition, though. Before every game, he gives Mohamed Salah a big hug. And speaking of hugs, Guardiola actually has feelings. If there's one thing Guardiola has lacked in recent months, it's a bit of pep. <laughs> That's a great joke. I don't know. I apologize for nothing. In fact, before every game during Man City's titles, Pep would hug his best friend. But that's not his only superstition. He wore the same pair of Johan Cruyff boots during an 18-game win streak. He kept a statue of Cruyff on his desk. And for a long time, he would only sit next to the same assistant coach. Did he do all that at the same time? Zidane's superstition. Bueno, el pasado, el pasado. That's not how Zizou felt about a Champions League game in 2018. If at first you succeed, repeat everything you did the first time. That may not be a famous saying, but it's how Zidane thinks. After Bayern fell to Real Madrid in the 2017 Champions League, Zidane decided to have his team repeat everything when they met again a year later. Zidane booked the same hotel in 2018. They got the same crew to travel with them to the game. Zidane even asked UEFA if they could play in the same shirt from 2017. UEFA said, okay. And guess what happened in the end? They won by the same score. Guess it worked. Will Zidane ask us to remake this video if they meet again? Bielsa's 13 steps to something. You may have heard of 12-step programs to quit drinking or drugs. Well, there's a reason they call Marcelo Bielsa El Loco because he's been seen marking out 13 steps in his managerial area before games as a superstition. He also has a blue bucket that he sits on almost every game. But he's not the first Argentinian with superstitions. Biardo is a maniac. Bielsa looks like a completely normal person compared to Biardo. The 1986 World Cup winning coach with Argentina once told his club team, Estudiantes, to find a woman who wished him luck before a 4-1 win. When they found her, he started calling her before every game. But that's just the beginning. During the 1986 World Cup, he banned his team from eating chicken for superstitious reasons. And the most ridiculous thing? One game during the World Cup, the team coach broke down and they had to take taxis to the stadium. They won the game, so Biardo started making his players take taxis to every game. Top football managers in history will do anything to win. Whether it's sensical or not, well, that really doesn't matter. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave us a like and please subscribe to the channel. Now, the voice is yours. Give us your ideas for new videos in the comments. I got the